In this video, I'm going to discuss three great new features coming to Microsoft Teams. Coming up. Hey everyone, it's Joe from FC Tech, a great place to find tech news, reviews, and tutorials. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button, and all the links we reference in this video can be found in the video's description. And with that said, let's jump into it. The first new feature I'd like to discuss is the ability to save Microsoft Teams recordings to OneDrive or SharePoint. Back in October, Microsoft actually released this ability to be enabled via PowerShell, uh, but co coming soon, as at least as of January 11th, uh, Microsoft is going to be ro rolling this out to um, all new Teams meeting recordings. Um, it'll be enabled by default. You can still revert it back if you want, uh, but you will have to edit the policy within the Teams admin center in order to, ch to change that. Um, Microsoft will also be rolling this out to enterprise customers as of March 1st of 2021 and to education customers as of July 7th of 2021. I think this is gonna, going to be a much more cohesive way to keep track of your team's recordings. Uh, for instance, having the ability, the ability to save your recordings directly to your team or your, your, for instance, your team's document library as opposed to stream. It just makes a whole lot more sense uh, as you're storing the rest of your documents right within the team. Um, it'll also unlock the ability to uh, share, share things easily with external guests and it'll give you quicker access to transcripts as it won't have to decode the transcripts to, via Microsoft Stream. And you'll also have greater storage capacity, which is unlocked inherently by using OneDrive or SharePoint. The second feature I wanted to highlight is the ability to transfer calls between mobile and desktop. As of right now, there is no easy way to transfer transfer a Teams call between between your desktop and your mobile device. Um, typically, when I'm in this situation, I usually have to manually disconnect from my desktop, then reconnect from my my phone. Uh, there is no smooth transition. Um, but as of uh, early 2021, uh, you'll be able to easily shift your calls uh, between your mobile device and desktop endpoints. Um, with a very easy to use interface within the Teams app itself. So I'm really looking forward to that. It, it should make life much easier for people who are always on the go. The third new feature I'd like to discuss is the ability to add SMS participants to group chats within Microsoft Teams. Uh, this, this is yet again another great way to incorporate users within a group chat. Um, up until, up until this point, there's no, not been a great way to do this. There have been other third-party apps, but let's all be honest, uh, as good as those apps are, it, it can't compare with using something native. So um, that's always a great thing uh, when you can get something that's, that is native. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to the, uh, this feature to be able to, to communicate directly with SMS users um, via the Teams iOS and Android apps. Um, I know that this is currently available in preview mode. Uh, it is not available for... It is not publicly available in the full app at this point, uh, but I would imagine that would be coming soon. I do not have any specific date on when that will, will be released, but uh, just keep an eye out for that, and it should be a, a great feature. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.